that time of year again. Yes, after a lot of deliberations and talking to the family, I think I'm all crazy after eight years and years of wanting this car and eight years of ownership of deciding I'm going to sell the car. Not right now in the spring of 2018. Um, that's the plan. So for now, I want to do a quick overview. There are some things I still need to do to the car by the spring and an overview of the car. So uh, basically the next series of videos will get into more of the details of the body, chassis, drive line driving experience, things like that. But for now, we'll start with a quick overview. Well, the car was built in 2002 by Luke Chartrand. He's uh, built Canada's first supercar. I did a video on that, I'll put a link in the description for it. So Luke built it in 2002, it was registered in Quebec, brought to Ottawa, which is in Ontario. I bought it from, I think the second owner, no, third owner, um, and brought it to Toronto where the car is now. It's a replica. Uh, using a, a 1988 Lamborghini Countach using one of Bill Kester's kits. Uh, he's a uh, KMC or Custom Motor Cars out of Texas. Bill Kester uh, had a bunch of bodies that he had, uh, so I think he had chassis as well. So Luke bought one of his kits and uh, built the custom chassis for it. And most of it is uh, Corvette running gear or GM running gear that's underneath. And uh, the engine is basically out of a 93. Uh, Corvette. It's uh, had 20,000 kilometers on it, I believe, when it was wrecked. And the Lambo has about 11, I think. We'll jump inside and take a look here in a minute. The car does have some cosmetic issues. I did do a video on that, everything that's wrong with the car. Um, and that's basically a lot of cosmetic issues. There's like one driving, steering thing that I'm going to be working on this winter, try to figure out what that is. It might be just tires though. And uh, that basically covers everything wrong with the car. But um, from that, everything else, the car is in great shape. And that's one of the reasons I'm selling it is it's no longer a challenge to try and figure out what needs to repair. And I went the whole summer without anything happening with it. So that's one of the reasons I'm selling the car. The car is a Griffin Gearbox 5-speed. Uh, which is uh, Dylan who still works uh, on his gearboxes, makes them and builds them. He's mostly Richmond uh, uh, driveline parts uh, that he's using for it and uh, he's out of Texas. The interior is basically a black interior and in that uh, everything wrong with the car, I talk about the wear. There's some wear, some scratches and things in the leather, but other than that, everything in there works. I bought the car in 2010 and that's when I started the website. I'll put a link to the website. It has the first year that I owned the car and everything that happened and then I created the blog after that and I'll put a link for that as well. And it has the full history from when I started with the car and everything that went wrong with the car and everything I had to fix and everything I've worked on. So that's where you can find the full history of the car. But there's also these videos that I did. I started doing them pretty much when I started ownership of the car. Uh, and there's a full uh, and then if you go to my channel and the videos, you'll see, you just go right to the first one. Now, I apologize, the first ones are pretty rough. And I was learning how to use the cameras, didn't have things like mics and everything else to work for the, uh, doing this stuff. So they're pretty rough. But at least you'll figure out what I was working on on the car. One of the great things about this car and the reasons I really wanted it was AC works and works really well. It's a vintage air system that's in the car and it works excellent. So it's been great and it's made a big difference in being able to drive the, day, uh, the car on the really hot days. The other thing with cars, if uh, Luke was six foot tall when he built this car, he built it for him to fit. And I think somebody bigger than that can fit in there. I'll jump in the car in a second to show you. The, the car drives great. The uh, gear shifter is a little clunky. You can hear that in some of the videos I have. Uh, but it's really positive, so you know, it's strong feeling. It's not like a weak shift, that's for sure. Just a little noisy and clunky. But uh, everything else about driving the car is really good. Like the driving experience is great. The only hiccup is you got manual brakes and manual steering. So braking is not like we're used to feeling the power brakes in most of the cars today. The manual brakes you have to lean on pretty good. 
And the uh, power steering, when you should have stolen it, it's a bit of a struggle. When you're driving, it's got a great feel to it, which is uh, quite different than what I'm used to with other cars. But I often liken the driving of this, similar to what the BMW I had years ago. It felt very similar in the road characteristics, how it handled, but it's so wide, so fat, moving on. It's so flat and, and uh, takes up a lot of space, but it's very square and boxy, so when you go around a corner, there's no body roll or anything, it's just dynamically around the corner, it's fantastic. Power steering. It's a little challenging. So normally I have the I have the car back uh, or forward. You see forward a couple of clicks here. You see my knees. Uh, not bad. The angle that comes up from the pedal. I put my feet on the pedals right now. So you can see the the angle coming up here. So if I had longer legs, probably be okay. And you can tilt the steering to get it where you feel comfortable with it. And the other thing you can do is always rotate. And these banana seats are uh, kind of enable you to get some more headspace. So right now there's probably three inches above my head, head. and uh, you can see you know you can rotate basically back and forth because there's no crease for where you need to actually sit. And like I say, I usually have the, the seat forward a couple clicks. I think it's all the way back right now. Yeah, that's usually where I have it. So I usually have it forward with two clicks, and then. Uh, I just puts me at a good distance from the wheel and everything. The driving position is actually pretty good. The pedals are offset, just like the real one, because of the wheel well. Uh, so, but it's comfortable. You can heel and toe with it. And I've had some videos that you'll see uh, that I've done that. It is pretty comfortable. I've done probably two, three, uh, two and a half hours, three hours in the car driving, and it's fine. Once you're in, it's great. Getting in and out for a guy like me is. When I get in, it's like a thing's giving birth. The shows with this thing are a blast. I really enjoy that. This gets a lot of attention everywhere it goes. That would be one thing about this car I would sorely miss, that's for sure. So why am I selling the car? Well, basically the repairs are all done to the, it's running great. And I'm looking for another challenge or something. Maybe a salvage car, or maybe cars in the 80s, stuff like that. There'll always be something else I'll do to the channel. The car does itself. I'll just keep it and we'll carry on with this. I'm fine with that. If you're interested in the car, you can email me. I'll put uh, my email across the screen and um, I'll put a link in the description. I'm hoping a viewer is going to buy it. So you're probably wondering by now, you know, how much? How much? So I came up with a price and it's basically the price that I'm thinking I would be willing to sell it for and be comfortable with. And that's 55,000 US, which is about 63,000 Canadian. And I think it's what, uh, 38,000 pounds and 42,000 euros. And the reason for that price and the reason I put the euros in is overseas, the European market, these things have gone through the roof. You know, a similar car to this is going anywhere from 40 to 50,000 pounds, which is like closer to 100,000. Uh, Canadian or over that anyway, and uh, closer to 100,000 US, which is uh, it's amazing. But the market over there for these things is big, <laughs> so that's what's really driving the pricing. Like I say, for now, I can ask what I want because if I don't sell it, it won't kill me, and the family will be really happy if I don't sell it. Also, the reason for that value is the market for the real cars has gone through the roof when i bought it the real car went for like 125,000. the same models here in canada was for sale and i just saw that same car list for 389,000. and uh, so the real ones have really grown out of reach uh, for a lot of people that may have even been saving for it that were my age and that's why these, these cars are going up in value even on the used car market for the uh, completed kit it's the same thing, the value has been going up for these. And uh, it's just the demand that's driving it. There's not a lot out there, there's not a lot built. And that's why the demand. Also, the reason for selling this one at that price is this is a proven runner. You can go through all those videos that I've got and you can see for sure it's proven. It runs, it starts up, it works. And, and it's been doing that for the last eight years on, uh, on and off, I might say. So, yeah, you can be a little mechanically inclined with this, as you'll see with the videos, and you'll get an idea of what uh, goes wrong with these cars. You know, they're, 
What I used to say is an amalgamation of parts that weren't necessarily meant to work together. But they do, but they also break. So you gotta be somewhat mechanically inclined to want to do this, or willing to pay a mechanic a lot. There's no book for the mechanic to go through to figure, or figure this out or diagnose it. It's all, you do it on your own. So that's one of the dilemmas with the car like this. That's one of the challenges that I enjoy with a car like this. Except it's not doing it to me anymore. Yeah, so if you want to get in contact with me, you can email me. Link's in the description. If you want to learn more about the cars before the next videos come out, you can start going through all those little video archives that I have, and you'll get it right from that. Uh, there's also my website you can go to and uh, the blog, which has some more details that aren't in videos if you're interested in learning more about the car. So I'll put links in the descriptions for both those, and uh, you can check those out. There's that's it for now. Next video is All right, well, fast forward about three weeks, things have changed. Apparently, as I was shooting this video and the family caught wind of it, we had a big sit-down meeting, and apparently this car means as much to them as the Durango. It's uh, apparently a landmark. It's uh, something they need to stay in the family and they think I can't do without it. And sometimes the family knows you better and you know yourself. So a big decision was made not to sell it. We're going to keep it. So that's the plan. So I had this video all done and I couldn't bear to throw it in the scrap can after doing all that editing as you can probably tell. And uh, I said I'm going to post it anyways and I'll add this in the end. I've since had a haircut and everything else. So, I, uh, yeah, that's the plan now. We're going to keep it. So I'll carry on working on it. I do have some other things I wanted to do. In the end, they think I just need a change. And basically what they're saying is sell the Camaro. Okay. So maybe you'll... We'll sell the Camaro, change it for something else. I don't know what I'm doing. See ya. Apparently, <laughs> playing with his ears makes him sleepy. Massage, massage his head. That's it. There you go. No, he's, he's, he's on to us now. Trading places. Mm hmm. Just ran it for its winter run here. That one's getting an oil change as usual. Go! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go this way. Oh, yeah, you got me. Oh, go this way. for you, eh? Make it sound like a big workout for me. Here it comes. Oh, you made it again. Oh, go this way. <laughs> <laughs>